What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me today for what is going to be a full face, almost, almost full face of Danessa Myrick's beauty. She just announced that her brand is now going to be in Sephora. And because of that, she had a 25% off sale on her website. So that's really the reason behind this, but I figured because more people are likely going to be hearing about her now and she's gonna be just much more widely distributed, I thought it might be helpful to do a video where I talk about some of my favorite products of hers, use them so you can really see how they perform. And so that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. So first let's start with the face. On the skin, I am going to be using some Vision Cream Cover. This is her like foundation, concealer, sculpting, shaping, all in one sort of face product. And I bought two brand new shades. First I have, this is number four. And then I have a number two, yes, N2 as well. These, this will probably be the right shade. The funny thing is I've done a few videos on Danessa Myricks before, and I will link to those down below in case you wanna give them a watch because some of my products of hers have dried out. I just won't be showing them and swatching them here today. So I've talked a ton about her products in case you're interested in something that I don't talk about here. I'll link those down below. But in one of those videos, I actually got one of these sample sizes she has of these because this is a pen format. I think she has something a little bit bigger in more of a pump bottle. And then she has something smaller in case you're unsure of what your shade is going to be in her range. But in the video, actually, let me click this up real quick. So now we can get this party started. In the video where I initially talked about and tried this formula from her, I got some of the sample size shades, which is great that she makes those in case you're unsure of what shade you're going to be. But when I was placing this order, did I go back and watch that video to see which shades I got from her? No, absolutely not. I once again flew by the seat of my pants and thought, well, I'll just get two different shades and, and maybe, fingers crossed, one of them will match. So I'm not saying it's the right way, I'm just saying it's my way. So right now I am using the shade number four. Two looks like it is going to be a little too fair for me, but we'll see. Maybe I could use it as like a highlighter slash uh, concealer, but oh, wow, this is just, I am now being reminded of what fantastic coverage this was, but uh, I didn't really wear it much after purchasing the sample sizes to begin with, one, because they were sample sizes, and two, because I didn't buy the right shade. And if I recall, this oxidized on me. So it will be interesting to see if, even though now it looks like it is the perfect shade match for me, if I'm gonna experience a little bit of oxidation. But I, again, that's why I got the lighter one, just to make sure I can always mix and match. And if you don't follow or haven't heard of Janessa Myricks, you must follow her on Instagram because her art is amazing, her makeup, the looks that she does on her Instagram are so inspirational. Okay, I gotta get this out of my face. So there my base is done. And rather than risk going too light, too bright in my under eye area, I'm going to not go in with that lighter shade that I have. Plus, I'm pretty happy with the coverage as it is. Instead, I'm gonna go in with a loose, her loose setting powder. Mine is in the shade two. And actually, before I do that, let me zoom you in so you can get like a really good shot of the texture. Like it is glowing. It looks like satin. It's beautiful. Not too dewy, not at all matte, beautiful. So now with the setting powder, I love the fact that she has one of these where there's like a little well and then in there is just a little mesh. So you don't have a whole mess of setting powder. It's not your average sifter situation. You have the mesh here. So you can take it out little by little, swirl it in the top if that's your thing. And then I'm just going to take that and press that into my under eye area to help set this because if I remember correctly, because this is a dewier foundation, uh, it didn't love the oily parts of my combo skin. Like it definitely, you know, developed a little bit of excess shine, didn't necessarily stay put. So I'm just gonna apply this in the center of my face but I'm not touching my cheeks because oh, how gorgeous is that sheen? I didn't pick up any brow stuff from her. So I'm just gonna do mine real quick with the Revlon Colorstay Brow Fiber Filler. Run that through my brows. And in case you're wondering, I mentioned this in my last video, but if you didn't see that, you're wondering what's going on. I have a new and different background. This isn't gonna be forever, but I got 
you can see it back there that the neon sign is fixed to its uh, sound booth. I'm so, so excited. It's awesome and it's a long time coming, but it's in my makeup room and it's kind of put my background out of sorts. And I'm not sure, I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? I kind of, I'm kind of thinking of going in the plants direction, like maybe a wall of, you know, geometric designs and air plants. Is that overdone? It has nothing to do with makeup. Maybe it's just like, kind of a question. I don't know. What do you think? I'm looking forward to a change of pace from the vanity that used to be behind me, but I don't, I don't know what else to do. All right, brows done. Now let's move on to the eyes. We get to use one of my favorite products ever from her, which is her color fix. They are multifunctional cream colors. You can use them on the eyes. That's where I use them mostly, but you can also use them on the face, the lips, wherever. They, they are versatile. Um, I have these two shades that the, the brand actually sent me, Exposed and Ballerina, but then I also bought two other shades and these are called Foils. And I, I haven't, the reason I got them is because I have quite a bit of experience with her mattes and metallics. I actually have a whole video down below um, where I swatch many of the shades, but I haven't tried the Foils. So I picked this shade up, which is called Nebula. And then I also got this one called Starship and they actually, they look very similar. I don't think I realized how similar these were going to look in person when I saw them swatched, but they're good basic shades, so no regrets. She also has glossy versions of these and I have a few of those, just a plain clear gloss, a glittery holographic gloss, and then a glittery holographic gloss that has a jelly black base to it. And she has quite a few of these. These are just the three shades that I have. And then just so you can really see what I'm working with, what is to come for this eye look, I picked up some new products of hers that I am so excited to try because they are multi-chrome. You know me. Um, she came out with, they're called Twin Flames Multichrome Pigments for Eyes and Face. She has quite a few shades. I only picked up three of them. I have Sweetheart, which is, I mean, like if I could say Maleficent in an eye shade, purple, emerald green, rich gem tones, all crammed into one shade. That's, that's how I describe that. Then I have Obsession, which is like a brighter version of that, kind of like Maleficent goes to a rave, you know? And then I have what I think is going to be my favorite one. It is called Bay. And I mean, just look at this. It is like a white base. You really can't see much. I'm gonna swatch these for you anyway, but it's a white base with soft pink and purple and green and teal reflex duochromes, multichromes, whatever you wanna call them. It's like all of the colors right in this tiny vial. I am so excited. So just know as I'm picking colors that I ultimately have using one of these shades as a topper, over top in mind. But to start with the basics, I'm going in with the matte shade, which is again called Exposed. It is like a mid-tone rosy grayish. And what I so love about these, I mean, I'm sure as you can tell, is just how easy they are to work with. You get plenty of time to blend and smudge them out, kind of, you know, working with them however you want to. But when they dry down, they are down. It is to a totally powdery finish and they are not going to budge on you at all, all day. Okay, now that that's done, I wanna go in and use one of the new foil textures. This is the shade Nebula. It just looks like it might be a little bit more complex, a little bit warmer than uh, the other Starship shade that I have. So I am once again putting that, this, oh, 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 oh. Just gonna dab the excess off right there. Going in with this Real Techniques 321 brush, and I'm gonna pat that all over my lid, not being, oh gosh, that is beautiful. I'm not being super precise with this, but I do have to say I am so excited, unrelated to Janessa Myricks, but I was able to get my hands on a crease piece. I am so excited to use that because I cannot or choose not to, I'm not really sure, cut my crease. It just takes a lot of time, it's a lot of effort and crease piece seems like it is right up my alley. So I was lucky enough to stock the website when they did their latest restock and I got one. I am, it should be here like by this weekend. So let me know if you wanna see a video about that, but I'm so excited to play with it. And I also wanna make sure I get that in my inner, inner corner. Ooh, so as this dries down, I, because of my little mess, I had to put this on a palette and I feel like it's drying down a lot faster. I'm kind of pulling up more flaky product. I don't know if you can see that on my brush, but when I lay it down, it is very dense. It is like gold 
foil almost. That is super gorgeous and true to its foil name. So shouldn't be too surprising, but wow. And the other thing I love about the creams on her eyes is you can do your eyes after your base. You don't have to worry about fallout. I love creams. Okay, now, now let's move on to the best part. I am torn. I really want to use Bay, but I, I do kind of feel like I need to see what these more colorful shades are all about. Nope, going with my gut. We're gonna do Bay. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. I'm just gonna take the doe foot directly and <gasps> Oh, oh, I, can you see this in the camera? I really hope this is showing up. It's kind of killing the contrast that I had with my crease shade, but that is something that can be fixed. Okay, so I did make a little bit of a mess in my under eye area here, but that is totally my fault. This product is perfect. For some super quick contrast in my outer corner, I'm just gonna reach into my Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette in the shade Mocha, the deepest brown shade in here. And just cause it happens to be laying around, I'm gonna pat that in my inner, or my, sorry, my outer corner, just for a little bit more depth. And this is not fully dry. Ooh, not fully dry. These do not dry as fast as the color fix. I am running into some wet eyeshadow, but it's still blending out really nicely. Now I'm gonna line my waterline. This is the shade Aubergine from an eye, eye pencil duo from Isom Cosmetics. Really, it looks just like a soft, purpley black. And for mascara, I'm gonna use Wander Beauty's Mile High Club Mascara, which is, I'm just trying to use up. I have it laying around, honestly. It's not, not my favorite, not the worst, but not my favorite. Okay, so those are the eyes done. I love them. Now I've zoomed out so we can do the rest of the face and I have a new product to use. I'm so excited to try this out. It is her, what is this called? Why can't I see it? It is called her Balm Con Contour and I got the shade Light 2. Now I'm excited to try this because I love her Where Is It? Do Wet Balm. It's a clear balm to go on your face as a highlighter or your eyes if you want a balmy. It's like a step beneath the gloss. Ooh, I wanna try that gloss on my eyes. We'll do it at the end. It's a step below the Color FX gloss. So if you just want that sort of soft, balmy look, it's actually very similar and was out before the Makeup by Mario Balm. Very, very similar formula and similar purpose in wear. Um, so when I heard that she had this kind of bronzer balm, I wanted to give it a try. So I'm just gonna take a 504 Luxie Beauty brush, dip that in there and go to work. That is very, very pretty and very hydrating feeling. Like it definitely feels like a cream, but not like a sticky balm sort of cream. And it's blending really, really easily and flawlessly in with everything. Why, why, why did I take my hair down? I should have known better. You should have known better. Yeah, her base and this bronzer play so, so well together. And I'm pleased to report that this base hasn't oxidized on me, so that is a win. Okay, that is super gorgeous. Unfortunately, I don't have a blush shade to apply to my cheek, so I'm going in with a non-Danessa Myricks. Um, this is one that I'm currently trying from Flower Beauty. They sent me a couple products, um, but they're Gel Crush Lip and Cheek, so another multitasker, but today I'm just going to use it, wait, am I? I guess I don't have anything else for my lips, so I might as well. I'll use this for my lips too, but I am just going to pop a teensy bit of that. Just bounce it on the apples of my cheeks and then go in with the same brush that I was using for my bronzer to blend that out. And so far I've really been liking this blush. It's very heavily fragranced, like a fruity candy kind of fragrance, but aside from that, really pretty texture and it just melts into the skin to be super natural. You know what I mean? Okay, now let's get into the highlighter. So I have had her Lightwork palette for quite some time. Absolutely love it. It's a phenomenal highlighter palette. And this was the first one she had, but now she has two. And the newer one is more of a gold, you know, deeper bronzes, shades like that. So she has even more variety. And if it's anything like this palette, I can tell you the formulas are unbelievable. So I'm going to go into my most loved shade here, which is Common Sense. It's just like the perfect soft champagne in there for me. And I'm going to apply that on top of my cheekbones. 
blending that kind of into my eyeshadow, maybe using it as a brow bone highlight. And then, because you know I love layering different highlight colors, I'm gonna go in with a frosty, frosty white in here called Like Duh, and put that right in this outer corner for like a super frosty, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Okay, for the lips. You know what I actually realized I can do is I can use the same sort of base shade that I put on my eyes on my lips. And again, that color is exposed. Taking a little bit of that on my ring finger. And I also, as a balm, have my Sarah Hap Lip Slip to prime my lips because they've been really dry lately. And I wanna kind of dilute it because you can see it's a grazy, a grazy shade that on me, on my lips, can be a little dicey. Okay, now this look, is officially done. I would love to hear what you guys think about the look, these products. Have you heard of Danessa Myricks before? Are you planning on shopping any of her stuff in Sephora once it hits the store? Let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.